A neutral stimulus is something that initially does not cause any specific response. This concept is part of classical conditioning, a learning process first described by Ivan Pavlov, a Russian physiologist in the early 1900s. In simple terms, a neutral stimulus has no significance or meaning to a person or animal before any conditioning takes place. In Pavlov's experiments, he discovered classical conditioning through his work with dogs. He noticed that dogs would salivate when they saw food, which is a natural, unlearned response to the food, an unconditioned stimulus. However, he also noticed that the dogs would eventually start salivating when they saw the lab assistant, who usually fed them, even if the assistant had no food. This observation led Pavlov to experiment further. Pavlov introduced a neutral stimulus, a bell, which initially did not cause any salivation in the dogs. The bell was neutral because it had no meaning to the dogs, it was just a sound. Pavlov then started to ring the bell just before presenting the food to the dogs. After several repetitions of this pairing, the dogs began to associate the sound of the bell with the impending arrival of food. Over time, the bell, which was originally a neutral stimulus, became a conditioned stimulus. The dogs started to salivate in response to the bell alone, even when no food was presented. This salivation in response to the bell is called the conditioned response. The bell had moved from being a neutral stimulus, which did not elicit any response, to a conditioned stimulus, which elicited a learned response. First, consider the example of a baby and a loud noise. Suppose a baby hears a loud noise which is an unconditioned stimulus that naturally causes a reaction and simultaneously sees a flashing light. Initially, the flashing light is a neutral stimulus because it does not cause any reaction on its own. However, if the loud noise and the flashing light are presented together repeatedly, the baby may start to react to the flashing light alone, even in the absence of the loud noise. The flashing light has become a conditioned stimulus. Second, Think about a student in a classroom. If a teacher always turns off the lights right before giving a pop quiz, the act of turning off the lights, which initially is a neutral stimulus, may start to cause anxiety in the students. They begin to associate the light being turned off with the stress of a pop quiz. Eventually, even if the teacher turns off the lights for a different reason, the students might still feel anxious. Finally, Consider a dog and a leash. If a dog owner only takes the dog for a walk when putting on its leash, the leash initially is a neutral stimulus with no special meaning. However, after several walks, the dog might start to get excited just at the sight of the leash, even if no walk is immediately forthcoming. The leash has become a conditioned stimulus. I mentioned that the neutral stimulus is a concept from the theory of classical conditioning. To learn more about classical conditioning, watch this video.